asked, let me, did I, do I, let me make sure I say it right. Is it Jarrell? Did I say it right? Woo. Okay, cool. So I met him in Nashville for a moment or two. It's a very fast trip. But, um, I noticed him growing really fast and I was like, what is this guy doing? What is going on? Like, who is this? And, um, I wanted to learn a little bit more and I've gotten to meet him and his wife and I got to hear him sing, which was awesome. And, um, he has built this business crazy fast. I can't even, um, I think you've been around, I think you, he earned the ticket to summit. So you've been around for like a couple months. Um, and his wife is building with him, which is very different. Um, not all of us have that, you know, wife and spouse thing where they're building next to each other and, and she is right in there with him. So, um, it's been really cool to watch. And I asked him if he'd speak next week. And so we just switched up the dates and I wanted to, you know, share a story and, um, his journey. He went to star diamond qualifying, which is huge to do really fast. Um, and he's just been holding a great, like, it's just been, he's had a great team and they've been, I don't know exactly what they're doing. I want to know. <laughs> so I'm going to have him share, um, his story and then give you guys some tips to take home intermixed with, you know, building to diamond, building to star diamond, as well as building with your spouse, things that, you know, um, he may suggest for you guys to go back and do with your spouse. So, um, let me unmute you. And let me turn my stuff off. All right. All right. You are unmuted, ready to go. Why, why am I nervous? <laughs> I know all you guys, but I'm nervous. Um, I took notes, which I never do. <laughs> uh, I'll start with my beach body story. Uh, we had been doing workouts for years. Um, I think since like 2011, P90X, and uh, we didn't, we got, we kind of got results, but to say you did a 90 day program and you lost like three pounds and there wasn't really much of a transformation, like nobody could tell anything. Um, we, we had very uh, little success. Uh, and then one day while we were doing um, T25, that was earlier this year, Christine goes, Christine's my wife, for those who don't know. Um, she goes, let's just try the stupid Shakeology because we see these commercials all the time. We've seen them for years and we're like, no, that's too much to buy for some protein. Okay, well, it says, you get mad when you hear protein. You're like, it's not just protein. Um, but we were like, let's just try it. So we bought it on eBay. <laughs> um, yeah, we got it on eBay and it was pretty cool because we got it for like 65 bucks. And uh, then we stopped seeing it for that much. And it was like $98, $108. And we're like, well, shoot, I might as well just go get the, the coach discount on the actual website. That way we don't get an old bag of Shakeology like we got last time. And, um, you know, and then my, at the same time, my mother had a high blood pressure and we had actually gifted her a bag. And in two weeks, her blood pressure started to go down. Um, and she was able to change her eating habits. So then we're like, my mom was like, I'm running out. I need more. And I was like, well, we can't find it on eBay. And she's like, just become a coach already. And so I, I was like, fine, I did it. I became a coach and I'm like, I'll just do this. We'll get the Shakeology. We'll be fine. And then I got a, an, an email from some chick named Ashton. And I was like, who is this welcoming me to you know, being a coach and all these emails and personality tests. And I'm like, what is all of this? And I'm like, well, I'll just, I'll, you, I'll do it. I'll fill it all out. I filled it out. I figured out I was a, um, a, I think it was a, a Ruby Sapphire. Um, and I, you know, I did all this stuff before I even realized what I was doing. And then she's like, we got to get your GSR going, you know, when is a good time? And then I was like, what is a GSR? I don't know any of the things you're saying. I'm just pretty much doing what she's telling me to do because she seems so, um, what's the word? She seems so convinced about it. She, she was very confident in her delivery. And I was just like, well, she sounds like she knows what she's talking about. So I'll just listen. And uh, then she, we had the call. We had the get started right call, which I think was very important for me because it showed me the potential of what 
this could be like before I didn't know what coach meant. It just seemed like something, a term that was just be, being thrown around. Um, but then she told me, you know, there are three different types of coaches, which one do you want to be? And then she said that last one was like business builder, you know, fire your own boss. And I, I'm a stay at home dad. So I'm like, well, I don't have a boss except for like my wife. <laughs> so I, you know, I, I thought, well, we can fire her boss. That'd be cool. Um, so I was like, yeah, I want to be that third one. And it, it took off from there because I, I had already had, um, my mom convinced because again, her blood pressure was lowering. Um, she started on 21 day fix. She'd lost 10 pounds in her first round. Um, my mother's in her mid sixties and she was knocking this out. Um, so she was convinced and I'd already made her a coach. I had her convinced before I had Christine convinced. And that was the next, uh, puzzle piece. And she's like, you know, I just want to get the Shakeology at a discount. I don't know what you're talking about this business stuff. And I was like, this can be a big deal. And I said, you know what? Never mind. I'm just going to make you a coach and you're getting the 21 day fix. So I made her a coach. I bought 21 day fix. <laughs> And then, you know, she started doing it. And that was the program she initially wanted to do anyway. She didn't want to do T25. I wanted to do T25. Um, so she starts killing it with the, I don't know if you guys have seen her pictures, but they are absolutely insane. Um, amazing results she's, she's getting. Um, but she, she started with that and she kind of took off. And it was, it was more of a, uh, from that point on, I said, you know, I wanted to help. I saw, I saw my wife doing well. I saw my mom doing well. I saw myself lose 30 pounds. And I was just like, I like all the names of your warm market, all the names of people I knew personally that I could help popped in my head. And I, I, I did my God, did my best impersonation of Ashton. I was very confident in what I was saying. I truly believed it. And I guess that came out um, when I talked to people. And, you know, so here I convinced I'm a lot of people say like family is not the best to ask, but I am the total opposite. Like my family, they were all in for it. So, and I'm, I'm the youngest of five. So three sisters, one brother, all coaches. <laughs> um, and then I got, who else did I get? there's i had i had nephews that were interested um pretty much anyone who was interested in in building a business or getting the psychology every month i never uh you know i never told them like oh you don't have to be a coach i told them it didn't make sense not to be a coach because you get a discount and it, it just doesn't make it didn't make sense to me for them not to be a coach pretty much anybody that starts to sign up unless they start freaking out I tell them like, well, you want to sign up as a coach because then if you don't like it, you can just cancel everything as opposed to like doing it and then saying, I, I, I want to be a coach now. And then you got to pay the $40 and then get the $40 reimbursed. And I just, I just tell them sign up as a coach um, from jump street. I don't remember that book. There was a book that Ashton sent me. Um, where the woman in the, in the book says that she offers the opportunity, the business opportunity first. And, um, when they, if they don't want to, she tells them, well, I would love to have you as a customer. Um, and that's the order she goes in. Christine and I are complete opposites. She does it the other way around, which also works. So she, um, she got her results. Christine got her results. And that's when the whole star diamond run, started happening. Christine really wanted a month of diamond shirt. When I say really wanted, she really wanted that shirt. Like you could not tell her anything. I was like, Christine is like two weeks left in the month. Like I had just qualified for that shirt. And she's like, I want that shirt. And I was like, well, go get that shirt. And so she, uh, she went to work and it was pretty much everybody going, Oh my God, Christine, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And she, she was, giving out samples left and right and talking to everyone. This was a Christine I had never seen before. And I think at one point um, in, in our Smash Diamonds group, you posted, Lindsay, you posted your, your weekly average thus far. And Chris, I showed Christine that post and she was like, what? 
are you kidding? That's, that's a real thing. You can do that. And I'm like, I've been trying to tell you people are doing insane, amazing things with this company. And she's like, okay. Okay. So then she, like, she went into hyperspeed and signed, I think it was like four coaches one week and like three coaches the next week. And she was like the top builder uh, one week. Um, and she got to Diamond. She even like talked to her parents about it, which is just really out of her comfort zone. She broke down like 20 barriers in like seven days. And it was, it was really cool to see. And also like got me on my P's and Q's because I was like, I, I was like, um, I can't, you know, she's going to pass me in a minute. Like I better, I better keep posting here. Um, also with her workouts, she, her workout, I don't know if you've seen her videos, they're intense, but like, we're very competitive. Uh, the two of us, it's friendly most of the time, but it is, it is a, it is a, we drive each other a lot. Um, I wish she would get on this call. Uh, she's really, she's got a lot to say, but she's scared to say it. Um, but is she, here, is she behind you? No, she literally would not come in the room. She is downstairs. She's like, I'll watch the kids. She's like, Don't worry, I might try and sneak on to the call just to hear you. And I'm like, oh, thank you for that. But yeah, she... I would love to hear her. I would too. She, she, um, she's very passionate. Um, and it, I really think it started with first seeing the potential. And then we followed up with a ton of personal development like we've gone through like 20 personal development books which is that's more books before i became a coach i had read a total of maybe 12 15 books in my life like i'm not a reader at all um but i read i listen to these books on audible um i've i've never been so into this personal development um as i have as i am now um, and it is key because your mind will try and play some tricks on you. Like there's so many different times in which you almost instinctively start to doubt yourself. It's like when I hit diamond, it was almost unreal. And you, you kind of, it's like flying in a dream and then realizing, holy crap, I can't fly. Like, <laughs> and then you fall. So, it, I mean, it's really hard to not stop a minute and be like, am I, is this really me doing this? And Am I this awesome? Am I this great? And it's like, don't question yourself. You are that awesome. You are that great. You do have the capacity to be that amazing. And um, that's something that I, I like tell myself in the mirror. Um, I've, I, I don't know where that came from, but I started talking to myself in the mirror. <laughs> um, uh, there's a lot of personal development that goes on and is necessary. Um, we we started listening that was another thing i like uh what is the word i like uh inception inceptioned her uh with personal development that that also helped um get christine into coaching um like before we go to bed i'd be like oh i gotta listen to my pd and i would just turn it on and have it you know on speaker so that she could hear it <laughs> and uh so, so she was listening to it without knowing she was listening to it um or i'd play it in the car where she like couldn't get away because we're driving, so you have to hear it now. And she's like, oh, my God, are you seriously playing this badass book again? I can't stand that woman's voice. And I'm like, whatever, you're going to hear it today. And <laughs> um, it was, it's, it, you know, she, she didn't buy in at first. But now there are days that she, she's the one that picks me up. And that's, that's an awesome feeling. Um, you know, I, I tell her at random, like, you know, you're awesome. You, I love you. And she's like, uh, okay, I love you too. And I'm like, I know it seemed random, but I was just thinking, and that's what I, what I wanted to say, dog on it. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I went after everyone in my family, not because I wanted them to be coaches, just because I saw the opportunity to help them. And I truly care. And it's so hard because you have all these other, um, network marketing people trying to come at people and you see them come at them in such a way where it's all about them getting their coach or their business builder or something. And so when I come and I say something, I have an opportunity and it's genuinely because I want to help you. 
they don't believe it. It's almost too good to be true. No, you're just like those, those herbal life people that tried to get me to da 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 da. And it's like, look, I'm not them. I truly want to help you. I truly have your best interest at heart. I really care. And I think that's the, the thing that I am focused on most right now is com- conveying that to people um, from a phone or from my laptop. Um, that's not easy to do. And that forming um, really helps and requires patience, but um, it really works, like getting people to trust you. Um, it's frustrating at times, but that's where that personal, de- I literally, I wrote notes and I wrote down personal development like 15 times in, in each of my brackets of notes. Like that's how key it is for me. I know it's like beating a dead horse. Everybody's like, yeah, we know personal development. But it's it's true. It's there's never a time where you don't need it. Um, let's see. I mean, are there any any questions? Whoa, there's stuff in this chat. I was just gonna say I was. Um, so I've gone through. So if you met me four years ago, I'm not the same Lindsay, which is kind. Of, but there's people on this call who know Lindsay four years ago who are like, "Who are you?" Um, and and it's really three years ago. I'm when you grow the when you are an entrepreneur and that includes network marketing, you guys are all entrepreneurs. If you choose to be, um, if you choose to be, it's your choice. If you want to be a, you know, you, he wants to bring his wife home and just do what they want. And I'm in that experience right now. Um, and my whole office got organized, which is so cool. Cause I don't organize. And I mean, the hell was pulling things from anyways. So, my um, point is we're, you know, in this position where we just, we could go, we're really like this week are like, let's go up to Flagstaff or let's go wherever because we don't have anywhere. We don't have to answer to anybody. And um, if that's your goal, which is um, the biggest goal of all, it could be a simple goal. Like I just want to make my car payment or um, I just really enjoy, you know, my discount or whatever your goal is, you can take it from small to big. And um, I used to, I was very deep in Danny Johnson training because I had to learn more about form. And there were things that she taught the gems and the personalities that I had to learn. So I had to stick with her and learn for a while. And I remember I hated Tony Robbins. Like, I couldn't stand him. And now I'm about ready to buy a ticket to go see him because I'm in a different path of growth right now. And I'm telling you guys this because he keeps saying personal development. And it's so true. Um, Tony, I, if you guys haven't seen, you know, Eric Worre does GoPro. And GoPro is a business development. It's not personal. It's more business. Like, do this, do that, do this, do that. Like Sarah Robbins, she's telling you, invite like this, follow up like this. Whereas Danny and Tony kind of, are more working on your insecurities, your fears, because those are really what's truly slowing you down. Is you're like, like, um, you know, I'm afraid to make this post. I'm so afraid that someone's gonna do X, Y, Z, and and that's normal. Um, or you know, you're dealing with the I'm not at my goal weight, and it's actually really awesome to not be at your goal weight. That's actually more. Um, inspiring in some cases because others who aren't at their weight are like oh they could do this if they could do this I can do this and it's a little bit more relatable goal weight is relatable too but it is it is like really cool to um you know see that you can still do this and anyway my point of all this is um Eric Worre is doing this webinar right now with Tony Robbins and Robert Kiyosaki and um Bob Proctor. And Bob Proctor is the guy who did The Secret. If you haven't seen The Secret, you should, because that's all about the law of attraction. So whatever you guys do on your Facebook or whatever you do on in, in your posting, in your videos, in your um, whatever you're putting out to the world comes back to you because it's called the law of attraction. So the more you grow, the more you're going to attract in people who are going to be attracted to like that growth and they're going to want to grow with you, which is how you're going to really build a team. And again, if you've been with me since day one, I was one of those, um, 
Lord only knows what I was putting on Facebook because we were learning. We were still like figuring this thing out. And I look back to some of my posts and it was funny because I would post these motivational things. So I was kind of in the, that thing of like kind of figuring this out and knowing you have this audience that's watching you. Um, and so anyways, watch the webinar. It's up for one more day, but it's also on Eric Worre's YouTube. And Tony will tell you your business will not grow unless you grow. You, you have to be able to grow with it. The more it grows, there's going to be, a, a, I don't want to say a lot more challenges, but you're just, you're growing a bigger team. You're going to be dealing with more personalities. Um, and it's a good thing. I would say 99% of the time is awesome. But then you have a little bit of, you've got, when you start to grow a bigger influence on your Facebook and you make a post and you get one hater at you or two or four, um, which happens, you got to be ready to handle that mentally. Like you can't let it shut you down. Or if you invite someone and they they tell you who knows what. Those, that's Anyways, those are just my, I just wanted to add that on with personal development. And that's why you are, like it, you sublim subliminally got her listening to I did the same thing with Hal. <laughs> that's so funny. I'd be like, we need to listen to this in the car. We're listening yeah. the whole drive. I made it all about me. I'm like, I got to listen to my personal development. Sorry, I have to. And then she would hear it and be like, huh. Like you'd see her head cock sideways like, huh, that makes sense. You know, so um, yeah. another thing I, I um, another one of my huge goals, the, the more time that passes, the more specific my um, big vision gets. Um, and the, the more I need to like write down. So I have random notes in my phone and they're, they, they sound like just random strings of thought, um, mostly because they are, but I figure I need to get them down anyway. So I just wanted to read um, one of the things I typed out. I don't know if there's any typos in here or not, but if I, uh, well, I'll just read it. Um, I was thinking about how to get um, not just my, my team, but anyone that I talk to about my team and what we're about and what our goal is, I wanted to, um, I wanted to, I wanted to get them to understand that I'm not just here to make money off of selling fitness products. Like I wanted them to understand that there's a big goal so that they feel like they're buying into more than just health. You know, if not do, if not, if not doing it for, you're not doing it for me and you are partially doing it for you. And if that's not enough for you, doing it for yourself isn't enough. Know that you're doing it for this possible future um, of what my big vision is. And um, it, is, it is faith, we're called faith over fear. And so I wrote, I typed out this. I said, show them that faith over fear isn't just out to make money off getting people fit and healthy. We seek to help better the world by becoming a lighthouse slash beacon for those that get forgotten. Children who have lost parents or never had them, troubled youth who lack the guidance of a good man in their lives. We seek to help guide these children up to being young, outstanding adults God has purposed them to be. Where they would otherwise be out in the streets or getting in trouble with quote unquote friends, they will be with faith over fear at one of our weekly events, such as bowling, roller skating, swimming, movies, camping, etc. We will offer self-defense programs for women and children who have been victims of abuse, tutor, tutors for children who are struggling in school, grief counseling for those dealing with personal tragedies in their lives. These are the things that faith over fear will do because <clears throat> Though there are organizations that provide these opportunities and services already, there are yet children slipping through the cracks, victims being abused, and people stuck between a rock and a hard place. We don't intend on moving the rock. We intend to show the individual how to move the rock themselves by placing their faith over their fear. This was literally just a random thought I had, and I was like, I need to write this down. So um, it's it's imperative that you get a vivid description of your vision and it, it should become more clear with each passing day. And that's, that's what, and I've even had like some of my, um, some of my coaches add on to that vision, which is awesome. Um, 
Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I have a huge vision and it, it, I don't, it had nothing to, it, that was like a cool goal to get Christine home. But then I'm like, well, then what? And I'm that, I'm that guy that sits and goes, and then what? And then what? And then what? Until I got to this huge, you know, save the world vision. And then I'm like, well, that's a bit ridiculous. And I'm like, no, it's not ridiculous. It, it's, that can happen, you know, and it will happen. And I, I wanted all my potential customers, all my potential coaches, I want them to know that. So I, I wrote it out and I do plan on sharing it on my team page at some point. Just wanted to share. That is awesome. Vision is something that I didn't know how to share. So I think it's really cool that you can do that now. I just was like, we're going, we're going. And I had the vision, but I wasn't sharing it. I mean, maybe some of the people who worked real, real close to me could see it with me, but I was just like, like Ruby personality. We're just going, 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 going. And we don't slow down. We just keep going. Like, don't slow down, slow down, slow down, keep going, keep going. And, um, and you got the vision, but you've got to, you know, if your team doesn't know your vision, they want to feel, you know, you guys, like, I, if I don't tell you, you know, you're part of something really big or whatever, like, um, you know, it, it, it does get to a point where they're like, you're just in this for money, but it's like, well, no, I'm actually in this to help people. The money plays a role in some of these big goals that you're, you know, helping. Who knows if you've got some big organization in your head or what, what you're thinking. I know Sarah Robbins, for example, like I was just listening to something from her today and she was saying, you know, her big vision was a orphan orphanage or a women's home or something. And she knew it was going to just, it was going to take a lot of work. And, um, so Yes, cast your vision. In fact, if you guys watch some of the top coaches, they cast it public. I mean, they just like straight up say it out loud on their Facebook. They walk around. They do the positive affirmation thing, which is what you're doing when you're talking in the mirror. Um, you have to do that. You have to do that because you're, you're your own worst enemy. And I know it sounds so crazy, but there are days where you're, you know, or I have days where I'm like, okay, why am I here again? Like, wake up. Okay. And then I have to go back and be like, you're an awesome wife. You're an awesome mom. Like, cause you do one thing, your kids push you in one way and you're like, I suck. Like I'm a terrible parent. I'm a terrible parent or whatever. You may go through something like that. You have to keep talking to yourself in such a positive way. It's, it's so weird, but it's works so, so well. So that makes sense. Why you crush this so fast. <laughs> <laughs> All of this makes sense. Do you have, um, do you want them to ask you questions? Uh, sure. I, I'm, I can answer. Well, hopefully I can answer questions. Do you guys have any questions for him in terms of, I mean, he's built with his spouse who's driven. He, he, one thing, if, <laughs> is it wrong to say, put on some PD, put, put on some personal development at night audio and li in your room. So both of you can listen if you want your spouse on board. I mean, just, just that's, you know what I did? I, um, I, Hal got told to go to a Danny Johnson event and he's like, go buy a ticket. You need to go to Danny Johnson. And I totally like bought the thing. And then it says add spouse. And I was like, okay, click. And he was like, well, you bought me a ticket. And he was like, I'm not going to that thing. And I was like, yeah, you are, because I bought you a ticket. And that really helped because she got out there and was like, I made, I did this, and I did this, and I did this, and this is how this, and blah, blah, blah. And she went on for two or three days, however long we were there. For hours, he was immersed in, in this training with her. And from there on out, he was like, I'm on board. Whatever you need, I got your back. Let's do this. Okay, you're getting questions. Um, favorite personal development uh, uh, well, the energy bus is a really good one and the carpenter is awesome as well. Um, I'm a guy, so I really like that, um, lead for God's sake, that book, uh, that, that, that was the first book that actually made me emotional. That was a great book. Had never been done 
by a book. I've never been made that emotional before by a book. Like I was mowing the lawn while I was listening to it and I had to stop mowing the lawn for a second to gather myself. Um, but that book was really good. Um, those of you with husbands who love basketball and those of you that love basketball, that book is great. Um, and it's all about how to lead, why to lead, um, and pulling the best out of those that you do lead. So that's cool. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, it's about a basketball coach, right? I, I read it in like two hours. Yes. I sat and read the whole thing. I was just like, oh, my, this, that was an amazing book. Yeah, it was a great book. Um, question. It needs to be a movie. You think it could be a movie? Like, it's got a great storyline. Anyways. It could be a movie. They Well, they have movies. That's a good storyline. Yeah, it is, it is a really good storyline. Um, where do you start with, with a new coach? Um, I try and figure out what kind of coach they want to be. Um, if they want to build a business, if they're just interested in a discount, because um, you can't really force somebody to be ready to run. When they're ready, then you show them how. Um, I, I, I just figured it best to figure out um, I have a, there's a picture that Ashton sent me a while ago that had like um, the three different kinds of coaches. And I send that to all my coaches or show it to them if I'm there in person. Uh, and, or they, they, you know, they lay and when they do say like, Oh, I just want the discount. Eventually they get their results and someone inevitably asks them, what are you doing? And so then they tell me, okay, what, what do I do now? What, what, what do I do with, with the websites and where do I send them? And that's when I kind of start, you know, really coaching them per se. Until then, it's just helping them get their results. Um, for those that do want to run, I pretty much tell them to become Emerald, like in five minutes, like sign your spouse, even if you have to just use their name and information they don't even have to be a part of it they don't have to accept it yet you know what you want your business to be and you have a vision and that's why it's your vision because you had it before anyone else so you're gonna stand alone for a hot second and that's okay because you got all these awesome people on your team to support you who believe in what you're you're doing so for for about five minutes i stood alone and i was the only one who believed i could do this but that was because of ashton and then my mom believed in it. And then my wife believed in it. Then my sister, then my sister, then my brother, then my cousin, then my nephew. And then, you know, all my friends started asking. Um, people from high school ha have come out of the wood. I just had someone yesterday see Christine's post and message me, which is just odd because I've, I've had posts and people have messaged her. And like my, like these are people like I've grown up with in church and everything. And they message her and I'm like, well, what the heck? What am I? Chop liver over here. But it, people will pick who they're comfortable with. And that's, that's something that we've learned to be okay with. Even if, you know, she's no longer, or she knows them more, they might be more comfortable with me or vice, or vice versa. It doesn't really matter as long as they get started. Right. So, um, yeah. Were there any other questions? I see the um, for a business builder, uh, did I, did I answer that or should I, should I go further into, into? Um, she's saying, yeah, you answered it. Okay. You tell him to go Emerald five minutes, get success club yesterday. No, Dennis, I have not dunked yet and I'm working on it, man. <laughs> I'm, only two, I'm only two workouts in, but, uh. The, I, I will dunk. I've already told my brother-in-laws when I go to Arizona in January. Yes, I'll be there in January. We come to Arizona like twice a year. So I remember when she met you and she said, he's going to Arizona, Lindsay. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, um, like he said something about seeing a coach or I don't know if you said, but maybe you meant I was there or something, but she was confused and I was like, I don't know who you'd be coming here to see. <laughs> yeah, my, my in-laws, um, Christine's family lives there. Her brothers and her um, parents have a home care out there. 
Why don't you yeah. live here? Hmm? Why don't you live here? Well, we have talked about it, and signs do point to Arizona. And uh, so, yeah, we, we have talked about moving to Arizona within the next um, couple of years here. So <laughs> All cool kids live in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like. <laughs> Though, though recently they sent me pictures of scorpions and I was like, yeah, I don't know about scorpions. I have not seen a scorpion yet and I've been here almost two years. Oh my God, they had like six in their house at one point. I was like, I we're not staying there when we come to visit. Cool yeah. kids. <laughs> uh, you're the coolest. I, uh, I would just say get pest control and you'll be fine. And don't live too close to a mountain. The mountains are where the, the critters... They are really close to the mountains. What? They are really close to the mountains. That's why they're getting... That's why they're getting... Like, my in-laws live... My in-laws get critters at, at their back door. Like, like in the garage. Like, oh, the, wow. Like, they're right on the wash and stuff. So, me, I, I don't see... I've seen, I've seen a couple lizards and a... A weird spider i mean <laughs> only just begun i realized that but yeah we do really good with pest control anyways that's besides the point um yeah let me know when you come out visit we do we we have uh you know it's nice here in january i'm sure that's why you come here then right yeah that's uh it's around my birthday too cool yeah, yeah. like 60 or 70 here everyone will be buried in snow and cold <laughs> and i'll be in flip-flops <laughs> I know I send pictures I send pictures back home when we go to Arizona and uh my family gets pissed at me when I do it <laughs> it's nice it is fun out here anyways okay so any other questions our cool kids cool kids are cool kids are all over the country <laughs> cool kids are in smash yeah <laughs> oh John had a question he wants to know how you got started and how you found Ashton. Who's her lead? Yeah. Uh, you know that let me tell you, I, I filled out all the paperwork, and I promise you, my coach's name was Brian when I looked. I filled out all the, all the information, and it said Brian something. I don't, something with a U. It was some random dude named Brian was, was going to be my coach. And I hit submit, and then the screen went blank. And all my information was gone. So I had to fill it out again, except this time Ashton was my coach. So yeah, that was meant to be. Definitely meant to be. So um, after that, it was, yeah, it was a done deal. She said she had been praying for a runner. And uh, I guess I guess she got it. I haven't gotten a coach yet from that coach connection. I would love to get someone <laughs> like that though success top 10 Dennis would probably know I'm not even eligible for it because I moved my home direct out of my first business center because I rather make because anyways when you turn two star you'll understand it's better to put anyways so, so, oh, so in October in October I'll understand oh yeah in October <laughs> I got my first one after 11 months of being diamond I feel like you have to be so I've gotten like five. I feel like you have to be, but let's talk about, let's talk about, were you already a Team Beachbody customer? Or were no. You, okay, so you were straight coach connection. Interesting. Because yeah. um, the, the thing that I would say to you guys that, that you have a better percentage chance of is focusing on Success Club because if you get, um, for some reason, Success Club 10 is – is like you can tell what beach body used to do is if you were emerald you get leads now you have to get successful to get leads because we're growing the network's growing so much and they want to give leads to people who are actually you know really really working hard on their business and i noticed that it's it's a much bigger quantity like I had like three challenge packs out of nowhere last month that I didn't have any clue where they came from. I was like, I kept waking up to points and I was like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. And um, it happens every month now to me. So if it's worth anything, you know, success club 10 is definitely where it's at. Um, however, 
when you're working you and a spouse account, I also like the idea of Success Club 5 and Success Club 5 for your spouse. Unless you're in a situation like you where your spouse is going to bring on people alone. A lot of us in here are, you know, we're kind of doing both. Um, Hal's, he's involved, but he's not Christine involved. Like, he is, like, behind the scenes pushing me when I've, like, when I feel like epic failure or, you know, I'm having a bad day mm -hmm. or whatever, he's behind there, like, telling me all these things and keeping me going and um, getting your book or get your audio on your in your ears, and, you know. Um, but anyways, those are just some little strategies. Success Club, for sure, don't let go because you get those leads – and he was like a lead. He was a coach connection, but I will tell you this. This is rare. This is definitely a God thing that happened. Um, most coach connections we can, we can't even get a hold of. Um, they, uh, I'm just saying like, this is like a 0 0.01 per, like this is very, very rare. So, but leads are like, they will, um, Leads will become coaches because they're already Beachbody advocates. You just have to nurture them and build a relationship with them if they'll respond. Like, again, the girls who bought the challenge packs, I'm like, hey, send them a thank you note. Haven't heard a thing. Let them know that they have, you know, support and everything from me and they've never responded. So some are going to respond and some aren't. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, that's my plug for don't miss out on leads. Get to Emerald. Get Success Club every month because you never know I got another order this week that I have no idea who they are yet I have to um, send them a note so and, and then you get every once in a while you get something like this where you come through the leads and you're a rock star and um, you find the right team isn't that crazy that you push the button and you got a different name and it aired on you that is that's crazy that's it is like that's, that's, that's like sort of how I met Hal. I mean, that's another story. But like that stuff happens like that where it was like, oh, this wasn't meant to be, but oh, this is, was meant to be like, that was supposed to be. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So did that answer you, John? He said that he was, uh, he just signed up for a coach. So he was straight coach. You're a good yeah. story. You're going to be a really good story. That yeah, did answer my question. I do have one more, though. Why did you sign up? Uh, we just wanted the, the Shakeology at a discounted price. We couldn't find it on eBay for cheap anymore. And uh, we started getting old bags of Shakeology from eBay. So, so we were like, well, might as well be a coach. And it had already started um, to benefit my mom um, greatly. Her blood pressure was – she has a really good story, too um, – her blood pressure was at one, I want to say 190, a little over 190. She was at risk for like a stroke and they had her like taking her blood pressure every hour and they said they wanted to see her back. And so I was like, well, the Shakeology might help. And I gave, like, we like gave it to her for Christmas. We're like, Merry Christmas, drink this. And she started drinking it and her, you know, it started coming down gradually. And in about two weeks, it was at like 124. Um, so it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing how, how, how fast our bodies react to like just good nutrition. So cool. So when Christmas comes, you can totally use that as a strategy. Um, Christmas gifts for Beachbody. We, we like to do Christmas cash. Like, let it, like we could probably start that strategy soon because we're coming into – we're ending third quarter here. We are ending third quarter. I cannot believe this. But third quarter ends in, in about six weeks, and then we'll be into the fall. And that's where we start to say, hey, we can help you earn Christmas cash, um, cash for Christmas, pay for your Christmas in cash. If you join us, we'll teach you blah, blah, blah um, how to do this. And when people get Success Club – those challenge packs and the residual and then as you start bringing people on your team it starts to add up and before you know it you've made you know a good paycheck and it's like wow i can pay cash for christmas so you also did a christmas gift for christmas which is really cool um give the gift of fitness this year or something i remember when i was going through my first weight loss journey i was like i just want things that'll help me get get back in shape like 
nothing else, no other gifts. <laughs> so people do want that stuff. So those are great little strategies as we come along the holidays. Now, are you coming to Utah? Did you? Yes. Yay! Yes. We are both coming to Utah. <laughs> Woo! It's such a different trip from Summit. I can't wait. I'm trying to find some kind of karaoke machine so you can sing. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I started missing you guys as soon as we left. It is ridiculous. I'm like, I can't believe how close I am to these people, and I just saw them physically for the first time. Um, but yeah, I miss you all. He doesn't need a machine. Oh my god, I can't wait to see you guys too. <laughs> spent, I spent hours in the airport with Amy and Dennis. It was we were stuck there forever. It was so much fun. Yes, the countdown begins. I'm so excited to get to Utah. You guys have no idea how much fun it is. Like it's not even. It's just so much fun. I can't even. I don't even know if words can describe how much fun it is, and just the 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 bonding and you'll learn stuff for your business and. <laughs> It's just so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what am I supposed to sing? I didn't plan anything. I keep asking you to sing that song. I don't even know what it's called. You know what? I was looking at that song, and it's a good song, but I don't remember the words. I did have it down, and I was getting ready to sing it, but then the kids woke up from nap, and that was practice sweet. it and do it. On, just keep making YouTube videos and sharing them. We'll, we love it. Okay. We have a, a partner, a success partner who is obsessed with Justin Timberlake. So every time you sing, I'm like, where are you? Like, <laughs> obsessed uh, with him. So she would love to, um, you have an album on I iTunes? Know. What? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> where have I been? Just putting all my information out there, huh? <laughs> I do. I do have an album. I am his rep. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so he really is a rep. Oh, now I feel like I really need to come up with some kind of something. So last year we did um, <laughs> we did a thing where you had to learn, um, a, uh, what did I do? Where like you had to figure out something special about that person or it was like a random fact and I made, you know, everyone had to go around and they were trying to figure out random facts about each other. And like, were you this person? It was when John Wall's wife announced that she was pregnant and it was random fact. I am pregnant right now. And Dennis, was it Dennis who got, he was like, I, I, I can't go find this person. He's like, I can't do this. I can't do this one. But what we could do awful. is we could like. It was like, as a man, I could never go up to somebody and be like, are you pregnant? It's, it's like the cardinal, you don't ask a woman her age, her weight. Or if she's pregnant or not. I, mm, it, this is true. No, no, you can't do that. And, Hal, and and I showed it to Hal, and Hal's like, oh, I know who that is. I'll take it here. I'll switch it out with you. I was like, you just saved my life. Thank you. <laughs> here in the corner and just drink, because I, I can't participate in this activity. <laughs> so, and then Ashlyn randomly came up to me, and she goes, how am I supposed to find this one out? I go, how difficult is it? And she goes, somebody used to host their own radio show when they were in high school. And they won like eighty three thousand dollars in the lottery. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that that's a good one. Why don't you go around and ask people? And she goes, Do you know anybody that's had a radio show? I'm like, Yeah, I know somebody that hosted a talk show. Do you know anybody that's won the radio? Yeah, I know uh, anybody that's won the lottery. Yeah, I know somebody. And she goes, Who? And I go, Why don't you ask somebody? She goes, Was it you? I go, Yeah, it was me. Goes, really? <laughs> so that was a really fun. No, it was fun. Um. And, and I'm, I've been thinking about, like, how can I do that again this year? Because a lot of people know some random facts. And so anyways, we could we could maybe do, like, I don't know, I, maybe some kind of singing or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm, like, starting to think about those things. But we, we did some really cool things where you won the lottery and you, you're pregnant. Like, what? And it was just a lot of big surprises. And we had a really good time. So we are excited to see everyone who comes to Utah. It's really a lot of fun. And Jeff Hill should be there. If y'all know him, he's on the wake up call every Monday. Um, and I don't know who else we've, we've been trying to figure out like corporate who is going to partner with us. And if we're going to go over there and all that good stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, if you guys don't have any other questions, um, we can check off. We're about, we're a little under an hour right now. If anyone has any questions, feel free to 
holler now. I, I can <laughs> sing. If you want to hear me sing, I can sing. If you want to sing, I'll, I'm going to mute myself. Oh, they want to hear. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> I can't imagine life without you by my side this is love babe that i'm feeling and i'm hoping that you're feeling the same way okay that's all <laughs> yay well thanks for joining us guys and sharing your story with us thanks for I miss your wife. I don't know why she's not on. I don't know. Now Amy has to dance. What? What's now that? Amy has to dance. She wanted him to sing. She has to dance. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> you can do like a, a size singing con. I don't know. I got to really get creative with what we're going to do in Utah. <laughs> awesome job. So many ideas. Say good night. Hi. You were in your mom's belly in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> and Dennis didn't want to go ask my mom. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Well, this has been fun. This was a little more, you know, quiet and intimate. Next week, we'll have a, another guest speaker. And don't forget, Team Cup is still happening. There are people out there who want to get healthy. Um, so go help them and, and show them how fun we are. And like, it's the biggest challenge just to be like, you just, it's so much, it's so awesome when you join us. And especially once we've been with each other, that's even more, um, powerful. And, and that confidence, I really like how you talk about the confidence that Ashton had, like, yes, you can do this. Yes, you can. Yes, this is real. You know, mm -hmm. use that confidence and that'll help your people be like, okay, I'm in. I want to do this. And they trust you. So this has been awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. I hope Thanks. you guys have a great night. Um, we recorded this and I will um, post it. So I know we're, I've been doing this earlier and people are probably. You have me recorded singing? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. It'll be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm sure you have a YouTube channel out there too. Uh, the last video I posted was like back in 2007. Oh, eh, whatever. We'll go mm -hmm. find it. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> have a great night. Um, we'll see you in the team page and have a great week. Bye.